Hey guys, Chris here with Omnimetrics. In today's video, I'm going to show you the pre-installation and installation process for setting up a new monitor. Now, it's very important to complete at least the pre-install guide 24 hours prior to the actual installation. This will just allow our team to make sure all the data is being transmitted properly uh, and that if there's any hiccups, uh, we can overcome that. But it, it'll just speed the process up and make it a whole lot smoother uh, just doing that prior uh, to your installation. So. With that being said, first things first, you'll need to log into OmniView. Now, if this is your first monitor or first unit with us, uh, you will need to contact our tech support team, uh, number 770-209-0012, option two. Uh, and they can get you set up. Uh, if you are with an organization that has monitors with us already, you can also contact the company admin uh, and they can set you up as a new message recipient and new user. Uh, I'll put a link to that up in the top corner right here, but um, they can actually set that up and, and save you a phone call. Uh, but those are the two options just to make sure you have the proper credentials and can get into OmniView. Now, once you log in, you'll see your main dashboard. And what you probably won't see is the unit that you ordered. Now, the reason is, is because the unit's actually inactive. So you'll just click this little button here, show inactive units, and you'll notice more units pop up and they have the red highlighted row. The red highlighted row, again, means that the unit is not actually active. So that's what we're doing is we're actually installing and making it active. So you will find the unit ID and you will click on the unit ID to where the little message uh, envelope pops up and those that lets you know that you're actually in there. Left hand side, go to configuration and click pre-installation. It'll take you to this form. And again, you see at the top of the form, it says, please complete this form 24 hours in advance to the installation. Uh, again, can't harp on that enough. It just makes everything go smoother. So again, please complete this form 24 hours uh, prior to your installation. Uh, and then we'll fill out the information here. So contact name, you will just put your name, contact information, or contact phone number, excuse me. The monitor name, so this monitor name will actually populate within the unit description. So um, if you want to name it generator on the roof or um, you know, thing that makes noise out behind the building. Uh, whatever uh, helps you identify the actual generator itself, uh, other than the unit ID, this is where uh, you would type it in and it'll populate in the unit description. So I'm just going to put actually generator behind the building. That way our team at least knows that I'm referring to the generator behind the building. Uh, and then um, you will need to put the actual physical address. Uh, this is very important just because uh, our AQI uh, feature uh, utilizes uh, the physical address to map the unit as well as just mapping the unit in general. So it's very important to make sure you have a complete address, not only street name, city and state, but also zip code in here. Um, so I will put our information in. Make sure you haven't fat fingered. Uh, and then it's going to ask you some information on the generator. So if you click, it'll have, ask you for the control panel. Uh, I'm going to find our Generac H panel. That's what I'll be using for this specific uh, demonstration. Uh, for that, Modbus, but you have the option Modbus, hardwire, or other. Battery voltage, obviously, depending on the uh, generator itself, as well as the fuel type. Uh, you also have the option to put some accessories down here. Now with this specific uh, demonstration, obviously there wouldn't be any accessories, but you can also put other and type in comments if there's um, some accessories or pieces that you may not actually see within this checkbox. So just make sure everything's correct. You'll notice we have, uh, again, just a reminder that this will go to our tech support team to let them know that you've completed the uh, pre-installation process. It also has uh, our hours of operation and again, 770-209-0012, option two. That's the line to get to our tech support team. Uh, all that information's here. Once you submit it, uh, your information, uh, it will take you to the message recipients. So you can go ahead and set up your message recipients. Uh, I will click it to take you to that screen just to show you what it looks like so you don't uh, feel lost when you get there. Um, but there's also, again, you can click the link of the video that I put at the beginning of this one uh, to set up your message recipients as well as users. Um, so you'll just hover over, 
submit form is green, so that means you're good. You can also submit and open the actual installation. Again, because you're doing this 24 hours, uh, you wouldn't need the submit and open installation. So for this process, we'll just hit submit form. And then I will show you as far as uh, the next steps for the installation if you click that other button. So you submit form and you just have to add your message recipients. So now that you've done the pre-install, here will be the next step. First thing you want to make sure is that the generator itself has been running for two to three minutes uh, during your install. This will ensure that all the data uh, is coming in and we can match it up with the unit. Then you will log in and actually find the unit. If you remember, I named it generator behind the building. I can type in the unit description or look up the unit ID. Again, select the actual unit ID itself. So once the unit is selected, go back to configuration on the left hand side and you will actually do installations. Uh, you'll just make sure the unit is selected, the control type is there, the monitor type that you have is, is actually selected. Uh, it'll uh, populate the wiring, the battery voltage and fuel type that you have, uh, as well as any raw data, but you also need to type in your contact information one more time, contact phone number, contact email, and the description. Now for this, I just typically put what I put in the unit description. Uh, so generator behind the building. And again, any uh, accessories that you would have would be here. Now you notice the last time raw data was received is because the generator uh, that we're using hasn't actually run, but you will actually see the generator on off, uh, acceptable monitor type and signal strength turn green once it's there, as well as the ability to submit finish install. You'll see if it's a failed install or you can actually save it. So again, uh, I'm going ahead and setting this up, so I'm going to hit save. Uh, and then once we're done, you just hit submit, finish install, and it lets our uh, tech support team know, uh, and they can reach out to you should there be any issues and vice versa. So with that being said, I like to end all these videos the same way. Uh, on the left hand side, there's a customer support section. If you just click that, it'll have links to video tutorials like this, as well as uh, walkthroughs of OmniView installations uh, and then more company news that, that we'll be posting there more often uh, as well as a customer support form should you have any issues that'll uh, get you in touch with our tech support team directly so they can help you out as quickly as possible as well as omv 2.0 feedback that'll allow you guys to give us feedback on the omniview uh, platform itself so we can better uh, enhance it as as we grow uh, and make it as user friendly as possible and continue to make it more user friendly so on behalf of Omnimetrics, thank you for your support and partnership. Have a great day.